द स्कोप एंड डोमेन ऑफ डिजिटल कैटेलॉगिंग ऑफ संस्कृत मानुस्क्रिप्ट वट इज कैटेलॉगिंग द सिस्टमेटिक अरेन्जमेंट ऑफ टेक्सट ऑफ ए लाइब्रेरी और ए मानुस्क्रिप्ट रिपोजिटरी इज नोन एज कैटेलॉगिंग इट इज ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ रिसोर्स इन मानुस्क्रिप्ट स्टडीज द कैटेलॉग्स कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द स्कॉलर्स इन प्रिंटेड फॉर्मेट और इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्मेट और इन बोथ थ्रू द इंटरनेट और द इंटरनेट वट इज डिजिटाइजेशन ऑफ मानुस्क्रिप्ट डिजिटाइजेशन मीन्स एक्वायरिंग कॉन्वर्टिंग स्टोरिंग एंड प्रोवाइडिंग इंफॉर्मेशन इन ए कंप्यूटर फॉर्मेट दैट इज स्टैंडर्डाइज ऑर्गेनाइज एंड अवेलेबल ऑन डिमांड फ्रॉम कॉमन सिस्टम मानुस्क्रिप्ट converted into compressed digital formats with specialized scanners and stored systematically for future reference digitization is the primary step in order to preserve the contents of the manuscripts it is essential to save the manuscript treasure and its knowledge base as much as possible before it is lost forever why digitize to promote access to manuscripts for preservation in longer lasting medium and creating a backup copy with as close a resemblance to the original as possible to reduce handling of very fragile or frequently used original manuscripts to make this vast archival resource accessible to the users there are various types of catalogs such as card index accession register triennial catalog and descriptive catalog a descriptive catalog furnishes a detailed description of the manuscript in three parts physical description catalog description and publication description in physical description the items are mentioned as below the name of repository or institution the serial number or record number title or the title author joint author commentary scribe scribe in place script language status condition of manuscript subject material number of folios missing folios number of syllables or aksharas number of lines in a page number of letters in a line number of granthas length or width illustrations revisor translator revisor of commentary beginning line ending line colophon post colophon contents and remarks in catalog description the items are title of the catalog cataloger or editor special collection year serial number volume part number bundle number manuscript number library accession number in publication details there are title editor translator translation language publisher place and year cataloging record number the serial number of the manuscripts of the repository that starts from 1 to the total number of manuscripts date of data collection the date when data was collected or recorded in this prescribed format institution or personal collection refers to the entity responsible for making the resource available institute refers to a university library trust ngo government organization temple mosque or any other organization managed by more than one person 
पर्सनल कलेक्शन रेफर्स टू एन इंडिविजुअल और प्राइवेट कलेक्शन एड्रेस द कंप्लीट पोस्टल एड्रेस ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन और इंडिविजुअल दैट ओन्स द मैनुस्क्रिप्ट टाइटल ए नेम गिवेन टू द रिसोर्स और टेक्स्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट दिस रेफर्स टू शीर्षक सच एज नाट्यशास्त्र रघुवंश एटसेट्रा The title should be as written in the manuscript without vivaktyanta or regional variations in pronunciations. It is found either at the beginning of the text or in the colophon, intercolophon, or postcolophon. If not available at the beginning or end of the colophon, the name. may be written within brackets or in the remarks column after comparison with other texts if there are no means available to find out the name of the text then fill in unknown if the text comes with a commentary the title of the commentary shall be included bhagavad gita tika sahita If the text contains only a commentary the title should be Bhagavad Gita Tika or the name of the commentary alternative titles or parallel titles if any must be noted the author the person primarily responsible for creating the intellectual content content of the text the name of the author may be found at the beginning or the end or in the colophon of the text if the name is not found then unknown may be written no name must be written even if the cataloger can identify the author on his her own cataloger can write the history or any information about the author in remarks identification of the author can be made with the help of keywords like kriti irachita virachita etc joint author joint author this refers to person or persons jointly responsible for creating the intellectual content of the manuscript usually the son or successor of the first author who completes the text either simultaneously or later commentary commentary refers to the notes explaining or interpreting a written text or document the different names of a commentary are tika tippana tippanika avachuri bhashya vritti bhasha tika etc a text may contain more than one commentary and if so this must be mentioned commentator the person primarily responsible for interpreting the intellectual content of a text author of the commentary also known as tika kara tika karta bhashya karta vritti kara etc language language system of meaning in which the text is written there may be several different languages used in a single manuscript such as sanskrit or hindi with a marathi commentary and the script for all the languages may be the same colophon upasamhara or pushpika this refers to the declaration of ending of the text usually it contains names of author and scribe often with a short biographical note informing us about their native place percentage name of the guru and so on there are three types of colophon intertext colophon text colophon and post colophon intertext colophon comes 
in the end of a chapter. For example, iti prathamo dhyayaha samaptaha. Text kulupun comes at the end of a text. For example, iti samaptoyam grantha. Generally, the author composes these two colophons, intertext colophon and text colophon. And the scribe writes the post colophon or uttara puspika. The names of a text and author and date of composition are available in first two colophons and sometimes in the third. The third post colophon is very important for the study of history of a text and manuscript. It describes the com composer, scribe, for what purpose he writes, date of writing or copying the manuscript, any praise of patron, dedications of patron, whether writing by order of a king or a royal person, handling of manuscript, sometimes con conservation and preservation of manuscript etc bundle number and manuscript number bundle number or manuscript number it is a string or number used to uniquely identify the two or more manuscripts or resources bound as one number of folios it refers to the number of the folios within a manuscript. Blank folios should be included in the tally and noted in remarks. One folio is counted for both 1A and 1B, upwards and reverse of sides. Size of manuscript. Height multiplied by width measured in centimeters. Material. Material refers to the substance or adhara patala that the manuscript is made of including ivory, palm leaf, wickwork, wood, gold, silver, paper, tortoise, cell, tortoise cell, agaru bark, shanchipat, tulapat, etc. Illustrations. It refers to pictures or diagrams that may accompany the text. Mention must be made of total number of illustrations, size of each illustration, detailed descriptions of illustrations. If some, something is drawn on one side of a folio and whether there appears text on the other side. If any folio or a part of folio is blank. If space is left for an illustration on a folio, but it is not filled in, one must note the border, margins, cover illustrations, etc. Name of the painter patron is sometimes found below the illustration. Now, let us visit one of the leading online digital catalog of manuscripts. It is National Mission for Manuscripts, established in February 2003 by the Ministry of Tourism and Culture, Government of India. A unique project in its program and mandate, the mission seeks to unearth and preserve the vast manuscript wealth of India. India possesses an estimate of 10 million manuscripts, probably the largest collection in the world. These cover a variety of themes, textures and aesthetics, scripts, languages, calligraphies, illuminations and illustrations. The mission has the mandate of identifying, documenting, conserving and making accessible the manuscript heritage of India. NMM, National Mission for Manuscript, is an international level comprehensive initiative 
which caters to the need of conserving manuscripts and disseminating knowledge contained therein. Its motto is conserving the past for the future. Now, let us visit one example here. Let us visit advanced search. In advanced search, go to title, write few words of a title like Pada and we have these options. Click Pada Pata and go to search and now we have these outputs Pada Pata, Rigveda Pada Pata, Taitiriya Pada Pata. Now click one of the views. So we have the descriptive data details of the manuscript here. The institute name LBL Varanasi and title of the text is Rigveda Pada Pata. Record number 25,283. Language is Sanskrit and uh, script is Devanagari. Language of the commentary not available. Accession number is this. Complete or incomplete. The status. Status is complete. Number of folios 667. And the material is paper. Subject is Vedanta. Date of collection is 16th June 2005. And uh, 